We ask our next guest, how does this all play out? We bring in Mike Gonzalez of the Heritage Foundation. Mike, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. What's the end goal here for the United States? Well, the U.S. has a, this is a, quite a victory for uh, uh, the U.S. diplomacy here, led by Trump. Tr uh, what happened yesterday, which n nobody else is, is really analyzing this way, is that Trump led the world. Trump and Mike Pence, Vice President Mike Pence, led the world in recognizing Juan Guaido in severing relations with, I guess, it's still the dictator, but the former president, mm -hmm. Nicolas Maduro. All of the hemisphere, Canada, Brazil, Argentina, followed uh, Trump. France followed Trump. Uh, and, and the next steps will be, it's going to be very dramatic. Hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans have taken to the streets. Now they're going to have to fight uh, the, the, the government thugs uh, that, that are sent to kill them, sent by the dictatorship of Nicolas Maduro. And we will have to see what happens in the streets of Venezuela. But, uh, I mean, my God, this is uh, another story. It's a once wealthy so uh, country ruined by socialism. They have the world's second most promising oil reserves after Saudi Arabia, and yet their people are starving. Mothers are giving away their children because they can't afford them. So this is the demise of a society. We've seen about 3 million refugees last year flood into other nations nearby, 2 million expected to flee this year. Is there any parallel that you can make with this caravan that is approaching the U.S. border that oftentimes these refugees, because they need money, uh, find themselves dealing with narcotics, human trafficking, uh, bad things like that? Well, no, I wouldn't say there's a, there's a parallel because what's happening with the caravan, it's in Honduras. You have very leftist forces led by the former uh, President Manuel Zelaya who are instigating uh, the caravans who, because they oppose the government of President Juan Hernandez. So that is really a political story, mm -hmm. also not told a lot in this country, uh, you know, that, that is instigated by the left in Honduras. Uh, what is happening in Venezuela is... The, the, the collapse of a once wealthy country. Venezuela used to attract immigrants from Europe. Now it sends immigrants all, all over the world. The country has collapsed because of socialist policies. I think millennials who want to implement socialism in this country should take a hard look at what is happening in Venezuela today. Uh, maybe uh, AOC and, and the freshman Democrats should look at that. You're right. My question now is, wh where do we go exactly from here? What should the U.S. involvement in Venezuela be? And does the military stick with Maduro? Well, that is the question. I mean, who knows what will happen, right? Mm -hmm. But the, the, Maduro has told the embassy, the U.S. embassy, that it has 72 hours to leave. The U.S. has rightly said, our relations are with the legitimate leader of Venezuela, Juan Guaido. You don't tell us what to do. We're going to stay. If Maduro has, has boxed himself in, he has, if he attacks the U.S. Embassy, he is attacking the U.S. Now, one of his henchmen, uh, Diosdado, went on TV uh, just, I guess, last night and said things could happen uh, to the U.S. Embassy. Electricity could be cut off to it. So, you know, we, we will have to see what happens now mm -hmm. with the embassy situation. All right. We're watching it. Mike Gonzalez, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you.